Go ahead. Question? Yes. 30, 40, 50 years in the future, uh, our dreams or visions, is some phase change going to happen? No one. I try not to make predictions in Bitcoin exceeding 30, 40 days into the future, because the best way to be correct is to not make a prediction, uh, because the future is very harsh uh, when it comes to predictions. Um, the worst part is that if you make a really stupid prediction, you will go down in the history books like that guy who said the world will only ever need one computer, and that guy who said electricity is a fad for the Paris Fair and will disappear as soon as we dismantle the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Wrong on two counts in the history books. Um, I can't do a prediction out to 30, 40 years. I do know that the nation state, as a system of organization, is being severely threatened by network-centric organization on a global scale. Today, the ten largest populations in the world, four of them are nation-states, six of them are internet applications. Facebook is the most populous concentration of human beings on the planet. Instagram, Snapchat, WeChat, etc. etc. Follow that. Somewhere down there is China, India, and then in seventh place, the United States. Um, so the world has already changed. Whether that will affect nation states, we'll see. Uh, one of the people in Bitcoin who is really interesting and has some interesting ideas, Balaji Srinivasan, who is the uh, CEO of 21 Inc., once told me, the future of politics is not left versus right, it's land versus cloud. And most of the world still lives on land, but some of us now live in cloud. And land wants to keep us tied up and tax us based on where we live, but we don't live in any specific place. We travel by air all over the world. And this is going to be the dominant battle of the future, the global community of the networked versus the landlocked feudalist past. We'll see. <laughs>